Hello everyone on YouTube, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always. I will now attempt a very interesting topic. Hopefully I can word it all right and present it all right to everyone, but bear with me if I start going all over the place. But y yesterday, or during the weekend, I was visiting a friend in Gothenburg, a city, well, a couple of hours from where I live. He's a Tekken player, he's a really great guy, and we got into a conversation quite in-depth in regarding why we play the characters we play. He loves Kazuya, I love Kazuya, and I played a lot of Marduk versus him. And I play Marduk because I love Marduk, but there's also a very interesting thing I realized when I worded to him that Marduk allows me to beat players who are better than me. And that's an interesting concept. Because Kazuya does not allow me to do that. If I play Kazuya, I always lose to a player who is better than me. And that's because Kazuya is pure fundamentals. And he has no crutches. Whereas Marduk has tools to allow me to pressure and overcome players who are better than me. Marduk has crutches in place to help me and carry me as a player. So I can rely just a little bit, a tiny bit more on the character than on my own personal Tekken, you know, foundational skill. So th this is a very sensitive topic to cover. A lot of people get very offended by it. And I've talked a bit, that's why I'm trying to be careful with my wording, even though we're still just talking about Tekken characters, but a lot of people take this very, very seriously. And I do too, I mean, I th think it's very interesting, but a lot, of pe a lot of people get personally offended if you maybe allude to that their character maybe isn't uber, super duper hard. But who cares? If you're having fun with the character, that's great. And I think of when I played Noctis in Season 2, uh, as I've covered many times, you know, Kazuya, been playing for 25 years, I needed a few days to get Noctis to Tekken God Prime, and after 25 years with Kazuya, it was still much harder to get Tekken God Prime with that character, and that's because Noctis has crutches built into the character that help you overcome players who are better than you are. So, I hope that's nothing that's too controversial to hear. It's a very basic thing that you find in most fighting games. Certain characters are harder than others, and certain characters just have, you know, cheese, which is very effective. So let me just get into, like, uh, I really, like, I play Marduk not to cheese. I just accept that it's part of a character and that he, he can carry me a bit, you know. Uh, but I really love Marduk. But just trying to explain this with Marduk, it's like, his, you've probably seen his tackle. Press 3 plus 4, he goes into the slaughter stance, and then you press 1 plus 2, he runs up, does a tackle, and here you have a freeway mix-up on the opponent, that for some reason does 50 damage. This is really good. And those of you who think that, well, in the end, this is just a gimmick, and pro players are gonna break that every time. No, this is extremely viable, even at the absolute highest level of play. If you just look at the John playing Marduk, it's basically setting up tackles as often as you can. All the time. And in Oki, in, de definitely in Oki situations, it's so powerful. But something like this, run up, and that's his ultimate tackle, transitions to this tackle. Uh, that tackle alone will, man, you get so much damage for free. E even going up against, you know, the highest level of play. And it's very easy to set up, and it has so many, just frankly, bullshit ways of going into it. Um, and of course, couple this with one of the cheesiest rage arts in the game. 
you know, enormous range. 47 damage. That's without counter hit, by the way. Can't step it. Enormous range. Goes into the mount. Oh, I got the mix up. Oh, I guess that's over half life. 87 damage. And if we counter it, boom. 94. Oh, man. You know what? He blocked it. I still get a 50 50. Oh, no. Why did you block that, Kazumi? You're supposed to stand. Oh, you know, you can do this. Or you'd get down two. Why are you blocking? My god! Stop blocking! Oh, it resets! I gotta do it straight away! Oh, I got the mix up! Edge! 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 But so, yes, Gigas also has that. Uh, Gigas is Marduk Light. So he also has that mix up, you know, where he's lying on the stomach. But Gigas just get a gets a little punch, and of course Marduk gets down two into mount. Because it's Marduk. It's Gigas plus. And of course Gigas down back two, garbage. Marduk quarter circle forward two. Boom! And plus five? That's more than Gigas? Gigas is what? Plus three? Plus four? So this is safer, more frames, more damage, counter hit kills. <laughs> it's just lovely. Um, oh, and it's down for the one. Do you know how nice it is to have this? With Mishimas, you know, you struggle with electrics. Down for the one, launches from two meters away. 15 frame launcher. And it tracks to both sides. And it's only minus 13. Tracks to both sides. So brain dead. Uh, and his Oki is completely brain dead. Can use the free. You, you can 50 50 out of this stance. That's very unsafe, obviously. But you know, you always have a threat of a tackle. And, oh, uh, I mean, be best Oki okay in the game, I would say. Uh, once you start utilizing the, the ground throws as well. Uh, brain dead Oki okay with ground throws and tackle. Uh, oh, and it's throws. You know. Uh, how many people are 100% consistent breaking throws? Zero. Maybe someone out there. Does he have good throws? Oh! One, one, one or two mix-up? Into mount? Obviously. We got to turn off rage. Uh, so that's a one break into mount. Two break into mount. Launching one plus two throw. That's guaranteed. 75 damage. Uh, one break. Uh, Goldberg's jackhammer. Uh, very nice. Uh, oh, and... Uh, again, like, this also helps uh, players who are not very good. Oh, you get beaten up. You know, I'm not very good, so I get beaten up by better players. Like, uh, uh, uh. It's just like Paul, and when I'm in rage... And then, now, for some reason, even though I, I've, I've gotten beaten up the whole whole match, I only need one hit. Every match, I get access to this. Where I'm suddenly like, I only need one hit. And you get the counter hit. Yeah, 133. But yeah, without wall, due to that rage drive, Marduk has access to 80% damage without a wall. So again, it's just to carry lesser players. It's just there to always give, give, give you the opportunity to take back the whole match. Oh, you get beaten up. 
I get beaten up the whole match. Uh, 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 uh. But when the opponent does one mistake, I can make 10 mistakes. Uh, 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 you know, or two or three mistakes. Uh. But then all I need is for the opponent to do one mistake and I retake the entire match. I win. That's Marduk. Uh, and then you have all kinds of gimmicks, gimmick mix-ups I've shown you. Uh, you have 50-50s. Uh, this pretty gimmicky, uh, unblockable, wall splat. Um, down back 3-4 into tackle. His parry goes into mount. Um, uh, forward 1 plus 2 is a super good power crush. And he has some decent strings as well. But forward 1 plus 2 is worth mentioning. You see it's only minus 10, but it has enormous range, so you can hit it from pretty far away. So due to pushback and range, sometimes they can't punish. It's a power crush, but when it does hit, this is now a 50-50 mix-up. If they try to stand, I get the launch every time. Oh, sorry. Run up, down for one. If they stand, that connects. And if they choose to, to stay on the ground, I, I get a launching ground throw. Which, of course, they can try to break, but it's still a mix-up, a 50-50 with the ground throws. So, Oki, okay, this, this, this power crush is really, really good. And then, uh, a million safe counter hit, counter hits. Uh, up for free, counter hit launcher. Only minus two on block. Low crush. Knocks down a normal hit. Uh, 1 plus 2? I love this one. Minus 9 on block, push back. Fifteen frames, and if it connects, on counter hit? Oh, I get a free downford 1. So this is basically a downford 1 that's safe at minus 9. Oh, I'm back 2? Super long range safe mid ho homing launcher. <laughs> this one is the best. Oh, I, it's actually whiffed. Oh, it's super good. Uh, oh, core circle for two. Basically OP. Floor breaks on uh, uh, floor break stages. But yeah, that's a, on floor break stages, if this counter hits, it's a 60 damage launcher. That's gonna be followed with a full combo. Oh, down back two you know about. Another counter hit, safe counter hit launcher. Uh, back three. Neutral on block, you see. Also, counter hit launcher. Um, oh, while standing one, two. Fully delayable. Oh, and, and my favorite, Ford Ford free two. But th this is not a counter hit launcher. This is a natural hit launcher for enormous damage. Uh, wow, I dropped a Marta combo. That's impressive, actually. Eish! Yeah, why he hurts that much, no one knows. But this is actually only minus 11, so you eat uh, a while standing 4-4. And most people don't know that it's only minus 11, so they try and do a 13 frame punish and they drop it. You can actually sidestep in between the two punches here by stepping towards the left, I believe it is. Uh, but no one knows that. So you'll, you'll just throw this all day long. But yes, so I, I just wanted to show you guys what makes Marduk so cheap and powerful and fun to play. And there's nothing wrong in admitting that Marduk can carry people. Kazuya 
does not allow me to beat players who are above my skill level. But if I pick Marduk, I can actually beat people who are better than me because Marduk gives me crutches at my specific player level. And there's nothing wrong in admitting that. And there are uh, a lot of examples of character who, you know, function like this or have this type of utility. Uh, so yeah, I, I just wanted to share that with you guys, that I have, um, well, sort of discovered that with the character. Uh, and I discovered that with Noctis, he had the exact same effect. Um, and it's honestly kind of nice because where, where I can be quite stressed, some most of the time I'm just having fun playing Kazuya, but it can be very stressful against really solid players. But playing Marduk relieves some of that stress. Because I always know that there are just a few things I can do where it's like almost guaranteed damage or... You know, I can stress the opponent very easily. Because I'm I'm very easily, by tapping two buttons or doing something like this, I'm presenting a situation for, for my opponent that for him is very hard to deal with defensively. But it's very easy for me to do. It's very easy for me to do, but it requires strong defensive knowledge on my opponent's part. And that was the same with Noctis, you know. It's very easy to do, but you you put the burden of character knowledge and stress onto your opponent. You know, you can very easily stress people with Marduk. Stress the shit out of them. And doing having that same psychological effect with Kazuya is very hard and demanding. It's very hard to do that with a character like Kazuya. But with Marduk, it comes for free. So I hope uh, you get what I'm trying to say and that that's a difference between characters. You just gotta acknowledge and, and accept and there's nothing uh, shameful about playing one of these characters. I love Marduk and I just accept that with the character. And yeah, I, I hope that was an interesting talk. Thanks for listening to me.